Hello and welcome to the Iowa PHR Pharmacist Connection Study mobile app tutorial. The Pharmacist Connection Study app is a tool developed by researchers at the University of Iowa. It is being used as part of a research study to help people find ways to help reduce their cardiovascular risk. In this tutorial, we will show you how to best take advantage of the Pharmacist Connection Study app features. With this app, you can complete a health assessment and view recommendations based on the data entered, enter and store information on a number of different health data types, contact the study pharmacist, create a list of medications you are currently taking or have taken in the past, keep up-to-date contact information for yourself and your emergency contacts. In this tutorial, we'd like to highlight some of the more important features that the app has to offer. The Health Assessment is a tool that can be used to identify and track which steps you have taken towards reducing your risk of cardiovascular disease and related health problems. First, make sure you are on the home page. If you have not taken the health assessment before, you will see a note by the health assessment button that says, Take Now. Select the health assessment button to get started. When on the health assessment page, select which assessment you would like to take. We'll choose Life Habits for this example. Answer the questions to the best of your ability and then select Next at the bottom of each survey page. If you need to go back to a previous screen to change an answer, you can select the back arrow located at the top of each survey page. If you select the Cancel button, you can choose to discard results, meaning any changes you made to the assessment will not be saved, or Cancel to return to the assessment keeping any previous changes. When you reach the last page, select the Done button. A check mark will be shown next to the assessment indicating it has been completed. You can then select the Other Assessments. When you have completed all assessments, select the Submit Health Assessment button. You will see a check mark briefly appear on the screen upon successful submission. To view all of the recommendations based on your health assessment, go back to the home page and then select the Recommendations button. On this page, when you select one of the recommendations, you will be able to see more information on what you can do to address specific health problems and learn more about what you are already doing well. These will update every time you complete the health assessment. From here, you can also download a PDF of these recommendations to save or print as you would like. To do so, just select the Download button at the top of the page. Then select Download to complete the process, or Cancel to go back to the Recommendations page. By selecting the Health Data button, you can select the health data you'd like to keep track of. For example, by selecting Allergies, you can keep track of any allergies you have. To add an allergy, select the plus button. You can then type in your allergy, reaction, and first known occurrence. Select Save to keep the allergy or Cancel to exit. You can choose Edit to either edit the allergy by selecting it or delete it by selecting the red circle. The basic structure of adding, editing, and deleting data is the same for all health data types listed. Select the Health Data tab at the bottom of the page to go back to the main list. You can choose what items you will see for tracking by selecting Edit on the main health data page. Use the slider by each name to turn off or on 
the different forms of health data available for tracking. Select Save to keep the changes made, or Cancel to exit without making changes. Many people like to use the Medications tab to keep a current list of their medications. To enter medications in the app, you will first need to select the Medications button. To explain how to enter a medication, we will show how to enter a prescription for taking a 40 mg tablet of Lipitor once in the morning for cholesterol. To start, select the plus symbol. Then select the medication box and start typing in Lipitor in the search box. When able, select the correct medication from the drop-down list. You can then select the strength, 40 milligrams for this example, from the drop-down list that appears. Next, in the directions field, enter one tablet once a day in the morning. And then that you are taking it for cholesterol into the purpose field. By selecting the Save button, Lipitor will appear on the list of your current medications. If you select an already entered medication, you can view more information about that medication by clicking on the individual ingredients in the medication. You can edit the medication by selecting Edit. From here, you can update the information or move a medication to your medication history list by scrolling down and selecting Still Taking. To move to medication history, select No. To delete your medication, pull the medication left until Edit and Delete buttons appear. Select Delete and then confirm your choice. You can send and receive messages from the study pharmacist by selecting the Messages button. If you have currently unread messages, you will see a number by the picture at the bottom of the screen. On the Messages page, you can read messages you've received by selecting the message. From there, you can reply to the message by selecting the box at the bottom of the screen and selecting Send when you are done. Select Messages at the top of the screen to go back to the main message page. You can delete message threads by selecting Edit, then the red circle by the message, and then Delete, and Yes to delete the message, or No to cancel. Select Done to exit out of the editing window. You can also send a new message to the study pharmacist by selecting New. On that page, select Who to send the message to in the To box. Enter a topic and your message Then select Send. You can leave the page without sending the message by selecting Cancel. Select About Me to view or edit your personal or emergency contact information. The page will contain the information you entered upon registering for the study. You can update your personal information or add an emergency contact by selecting Edit. To edit your personal information, select the category and then make any changes as needed. You can add a new phone number by selecting Add Phone, then selecting the phone type and entering the number. Select the red button next to a phone number to delete it. Scroll down to enter in your emergency contact information. You can add their first name, last name, 
best number to reach them at, and their relationship with you. When you are finished updating your information, select Save to finish. If you select Cancel, you will exit without saving changes. Thank you for watching this video and for your participation in the Iowa PHR Pharmacist Connections Study. If you have any problems with the mobile app or have questions about the study, please contact us at Iowa phr at uiowa.edu or call us toll free at 866-520-8983.